Hey, we're back. With 5 out of 7. And looking pretty good. And I still haven't decided what to do with the pill I'll shot. But I tell you, I should drop this. Throw away. Press the B button. And press the B button again. And blue scroll give up. Good thing too. Because now the enemies are even fiercer outside. Last thing I want is to be put in a random place. Fortunately, some enemies actually don't even do damage. But still, having to run around schizophrenic and push back could send you to a horrible death. It could just be horrible. But with new enemies also come new items. So let's say hi to our dungeons, which amazingly have not changed. With an overpriced sword and more delicious drink. Indeed. And of course a scroll. Sigh, scrolls, useless. So grinding and love and war side. We can check out a few more shops in our favorite dungeon. Remember, there are about ten different shops. So you might want to look around for bargains with the new items. I'm not going to do that though. What did I just buy? I bought a cup for 150. Which I really did not want to. That was a dumb choice, Magma. Also, red potion for 98. Are you kidding me, old man? So I guess it's up to me to regrind. Which won't take long. Especially since Scorpions only do about 2 damage. See, that's real fast. Really easy. Thanks to that delicious Hyper Gauntlet as well. Even though it doesn't say Hyper, it is Hyper. Because it's gold. Because I said so. Unfortunately, you only spend about three seconds in each room, and the music just doesn't work that way very well. On the overworld, you spend up to a minute on each screen, usually, and it gets very repetitive. That's why people don't like the music. Sigh. Good thing the dungeons never really change. Except, of course, for the shops. And now we have two different drinks here. What the heck? And a scroll. Hmm. It's a blue drink. Oh my. Old man, what are you up to? Also, you can only buy one item at a time. What the hell? And an orange drink. There's also a drink of green drink available. Let me get my numbers right before I say how much they do. Blue is a full recharge. Green will restore 200, and orange will restore 100 hit points. So that's actually a real good deal there for 90. Although, if you can find green for a cheaper, that might be a better course for you. And let me get one more potion here, and we can take out some more deadly towers. Are not so deadly in most cases. 
at this point. Be careful where you point your sword. Make sure you throw it the point towards the enemies and the hilt you hold on. Do not throw it by the blade. You'll cut yourself. It won't feel pleasant. You'll lose blood. You might die. And if you die, you'll automatically respawn with only $50. If that is only true in real life. Why do I always go right to left? Or head right, I should say. I guess it's old Nintendo logic. I could go the other way if I wanted to. But everything's flying at me at an astonishing fast rate. It's almost impossible to hit those fireballs. Speaking of more fireballs, there's a vampire. Or a rare monkey. What the heck? Check my map real fast to see which tower I'm in. I'm pretty sure I'm in that one. No, I'm not in that one. There's only two of them left. There we go. This one's a little bit more jagged than the others. A little bit more narrow ledges. Good thing you can't fall off them. Also, there would be a heart container over here. But I have too much max life as it is. The game thinks I'm cheating. What the heck? Now this one has a unique uh, secret room. Well, first of all, I have to deal with these things again. There's no problem, right? Right? But there's no item. What the heck? A secret room within a secret room. And I can just barely make out something there. It's hidden pretty well. It's a blue necklace. Of course, being a consumable and only one in the game, you want to hold on to it. Praying that these bats don't kill you along the way. But why would a blue necklace only be protected by a single blue slot? Is it really that valuable? Absolutely. freaking lutely it grants you temporary invincibility. Well, a few seconds of invincibility doesn't seem like much. Against a certain boss, it's almost vital. So I climb this tower once again from the inside. Climbing once again to my next destination. Which leads me to, hooray, another heart container. I guess the inner sanctums allow you to grind more heart containers if you need them. What's the max? I honestly am not sure. Actually, this is probably the highest I've ever gotten. I'll have to double check my sources. Put it at the bottom. Stop shooting the people, Meyer. It's not nice. Speaking of not nice, here comes the parallel zone. With plenty of ghosts for me to shoot. The hardest thing about parallel zones? Avoiding that initial rush. Although those bugs really aren't nice either. Ah. 
Is that what I think it is? It's black armor. Actually, it's gold armor. It's hyper armor. And I'm hyped up because of it. Now I have all the best armor in the game. What the heck? Yeah, there is mid-grade armor available. Plate. But who needs it now? Plate armor would probably cost you around 150 for each piece. But now that I have the pieces that are better, yeah, who needs it? Watch the patterns of your enemy carefully. Sometimes they can only move horizontally or vertically. Sometimes they can change speeds. Actually, no time they can change speeds. But anyways, this looks ominous. Because it's Great Wings Room. It's a bat with an attitude. But once again, you can hide in the corner and avoid most of its attacks. Or if you're really skillful, you can dodge fireballs. Maybe get a shot in. But who cares? I got a bell. I got a hill's bell. An evil bell, if you will. Off with your head. I can still use that letter. So allow me to go down a little bit. And I'll burn a bell. Just go watch those bugs. They blend in real well here. That's not too obvious from these harder enemies, but considering all the armor I have, some of my foes only do one or two points of damage. Quit making deadly towers look so easy, Magma. Just requires a little patience at the beginning. Not that I'm sticking up for the game too much. And I'll say it again. I actually like Deadly Towers. Quit throwing the tomatoes. But it could have been a lot better game. And it's definitely not for the youngins. So, when decide, there's only one more bill I have to get. Then it's burn, baby, burn, and then off to defeat Rubus. That'll make the kingdom happy. Maybe I'll become king. And we'll have to wait for another video to do that, because Prince Meyer doesn't like the way you're looking at him. Seriously, he looks really mad.